MINI 2 firmware upgrade using a Mac? No problem, let's check it out. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different to usual. It's actually going to be an update to a previous video where we went through how to do the firmware upgrade on the Mini 2 using a Windows PC. Today, we're going to be having a go using a Mac. So there was a comment on the last video asking if there's anything on the Mac side of things. So I've gone out, I've got myself a Mac, and I'm ready to show you guys what you need to do to activate the firmware option on the DJI Assistant 2 software using your Mac. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got the correct software on there. Now, I did put a tutorial about this on the last video. Um, so if you're not too sure, head back to that video. But for a quick refresher, head through to Safari. I'm going to stick the link into the description of this video anyway. But what the one we're looking for is the DJI Assistant 2, and it's got to be the Consumer Drone Series. And you're going to download the Mac version, whatever version you're looking at there. Okay, so now you've got the software downloaded, what we're going to do is come down to the launch pad, and you're going to select DJI Assistant Okay, and we should load up. So just the same as before, start your drone up first and within 10 seconds you need to be connecting that USB cable into your computer. If for any reason it doesn't work, just switch the drone back off again, restart it back up and it should connect you straight in. So there we go. So if we come in there, straight into the DJI Mini 2, we're going to see the same as what we see on the Windows system when you first do it. Let's just confirm that box there. So you can see we've still got Log Expert and we've got DJI Assistant Log, but we've got no firmware button. So just like the old video, we're going to go through into the driver files and we're going to change that little bit of code to ones and that should activate this again for us. So for now, we're going to come back out and we're going to close down DJI. Okay, so what we need to do now is actually gain access to the hard drives on your Mac. So I don't normally have this on my Macs, but if you do, then happy days, you've already got it. If not, nice and easily, pop onto the Finder section there and then go into Preferences. And we're going to see a selection here. So at the moment, I've got external discs, CD, DVDs and iPods. I, what I need to do is then go through and connect the hard disk section as well. And that should give me access to my hard drives, which it has. Cool. Okay, so you can see I've got two on here. This has been boot camped. That's why you're seeing two. You may only see one, so that's nice and easy for you. I know on this one that I need to go into the Mac HD data. So there's a nice and easy way that you're going to tell, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so when you do open up your hard drive, just make sure that your icons have got these little pictures in there. If they're completely blank and you have got the two hard drives, just go through and select the other one. So what we're going to do, the easiest way I've found to do this is to go into the application itself. So we're going to go into applications. And we're going to go to the DJI Assistant Consumer Series. So what we need to do on this is just select it. And then at the top here, you should see the little gear wheel there for your settings. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to show package content. This should open up the file with the actual contents of the drive. So we've now got the contents folder. So we're going to click into there. And then we should get a list that looks like something like this. And what you're looking for is the folder of Mac OS. So we're going to go into there. And then we should see, just like on the Windows system, we've got a file in there that says default settings. Now, this may be completely blank and it may not give you an option to open this. If it does do that, just click on the file, go to your settings, and then open with. And you can see in here, I've got it set as text edit as default. So if you haven't got that already, you should get a list of apps on here. But if not, I'm just going to show you what you get. So if you click on other, now you're going to see your applications list. Then on here, you should find that you've got the word edit. So text edit just there. And you can just select that. And then I would always say, I always open with, just to make it nice and easy so I don't get that again. And we're going to open it. Okay, so if you watched the last video, you're going to know what you need to do now. On all of these bits of text here, where you can see the zero, we're going to go through and change these zeros to a one. Okay, so now we've done that, we just got to make sure we save the file. If you exit out of this, it won't auto save. So we're just going to come up to file and we're going to go save. And it's as easy as that. So hopefully now we're going to get that firmware button. So we're going to close out of that and we're going to go back through and open up our DJI Assistant software. Okay, now I left the Mini 2 connected so it's loaded straight in. If we go back into Mini 2, you can now see, let's confirm that quickly, 
You can now see that we've got that firmware update button just like we had on the Windows software as well. And hopefully that's gonna show us our latest version just like we had before. Yeah, there it is. So it's the same version as what we had on the Windows. So there's been no new update since I last did it. So again, you can go through, do your DJI refresh on your Mini 2. You can also go through and do the same procedure with your remote control. Okay, so now you've seen both ways of how to upgrade your Mini 2 using the DJI System 2 software. So I personally prefer the Windows software, but it does run quite well on the Mac as well. I hope this video has helped you out. Make sure you click subscribe, make sure you turn the notifications on and leave any comments you got in the box below. I'll see you next time.